<laughs> I'm a fake spot now. I'm so sorry about that. But I mean, I'm you are. Here. You are a musical theatre actor. You studied music, so you're not just anybody. You are a trained, excellent musician. As yes, I am. Yes, you're right. Really positive self talk. Self work. Yes. <laughs> so we have the first online question from Jennifer Australia. What does the hand character represent? The hand character represents. Um, both the hate and the love. Like in the music video, it was a middle finger. It was a middle finger because she was the character that was on the mean side. Like I told stories in the music video, and she was the one who bullied the others. Um, she was the mean one, and also my sidekick because, like, and that, that's why she's always grumpy because I say I'm not wiggling with my little finger, so she's jobless. That's why she's so grumpy all the time. Um, so that's the middle finger side of it, and for the Eurovision Song Contest, middle fingers are not allowed, which is correct. <laughs> this is correct. No middle fingers, no swearing, everybody. So um, what, what, what we did was, okay, let's turn it into a peace song. Because I still like the character of the hand, and I felt like it would belong to the song, and the peace sign fits even better because we're singing about not feeling hate. We're singing about like if somebody's bashing on you, you're not bashing back. You're not hating back. You're you're better than that. And that's what we're singing about and that's what the rep that, that's what the middle the, the peace sign represents. Like if somebody's showing you this, you're just like Which is not allowed like to Eurovision. Oh <laughs> Eurovision is very much love, love, peace, peace. Oh there you go. With the crew, she means uh, the, the four friends that are on the stage with me, that we're in the audience, and we're saying crew because, you know, girls sounds always like, everybody's like, oh, the girls with you, and that sounds wrong, you know? So it's my crew. Applause for my crew! Sweating in that costume, it's awful. Seriously, <laughs> after okay. every after every performance, she's like, I have to get out of this. I have to get out of this. And now she's sitting here for you. Oh my word, she's so nice. Oh. So, in front of the audience, do you have any questions? Yes, you. See pink. I just. Yeah, pink. pink. It's, 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 it's this year's color. It is. Introduce yourself. How are you? Hey, Jendrick, it's DJ from the Young Podcast. I'm wondering, we've seen many versions of your outro speech, and it looked like today you did it in the, and you ended it in Dutch. Was that deliberate, and will we keep this, or will there be surprises along the way in the next rehearsals? It'll be a surprise! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes? Hi, Jendrick, it's Jessica from the Young Podcast. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your outro speech? Yes, Jendrick, it's Jessica from the Young Podcast. My question is, um, you're also a songwriter now. You wrote your song, I Don't Feel Hate. Who would you like to write a song for in the future? A big artist that just means, oh, I want to write a song for this person. Who would I like to write a song for? Oh, that is a question I have not gotten yet. Wow, very well done. That is really good. Uh, like, <laughs> actually, I have, I have the idea of writing a song for uh, Sophia. <laughs> because actually she's a musical theater actor too. She she was in the la in the production where we got to know each other. She was the star of the show, and I feel like she could belt the. She uh, you cannot say that, but she's like she's amazing. She's really good belt so I would love to write a, and would love to write a song for her and apply like next year. Her like why not? Maybe it's not going to work, but we can try. Well, maybe you have time when we do the pictures for some live singing if you feel like it. Oh! <laughs> this is so funny because uh, last year when we went into the final, you know, when we. Oh, cute. Oh! <laughs> 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 for everyone watching online, the hand is quite a few shy, everybody. 
so last year when we were in the final for the um, pre-selection, uh, she said to me, "Wow, I would never have guessed that the only the only performance on stage I'm doing in this year in 2020 would be a performance where I'm not talking, not singing, but dancing." <laughs> because because she's a trained singer and actor. We all learn dancing, but she always says for herself, "Oh, she's not a dancer," and now I'm forcing her. It's amazing. How the tables have turned. Oh yeah. Which is the stage song for Le And now that you're here, how do you find the Eurovision experience? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Yes, it's like, okay, uh, both. You know, because I really love meeting people and meeting different nationalities and all the art. I would love like meeting all the artists. But that is kind of only happening on, on, happening on the, like, what is it called? It's not deep, but all only on the shallow. Yeah, on the surface. You only meet them on the surface. Like, hello, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, let's tip our shoes next to each other. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. So that's it. You know, it's it's not like you can't really talk. It's not have, like on Instagram you talk to some, which is nice. Um, and but we like I would love to get to know them. You know, and that's that's missing a bit. But the rest is even better than you imagine. You know what? what? They all here <laughs> listening to me. You know, that's so weird. <laughs> Sebastian from Poland is asking, "Hello, Jendry. Uh, your, your outstanding personality is adored, not only by fans but also your fellow artists who compete with you in this year's Eurovision. With who would you get along the best, and what's a stand-up memory you can add?" With the with the with the girl, other artists yeah. this year. Have you made any BFFs? Well, I'm actually writing a bit with John. From um, and Sagan, and he, I have not met him in real life yet, but he seems like a really good friend to have, and I would love to meet him in real life. But I'm also, I met all the uh, all the ones I've met. I really want to meet them even more, you know, because it's like, oh, they seem so. For example, earlier we saw Benny Christie. He's like, oh, nice to meet you again. We finally, after you photoshopped pictures together with me and him, you know, <laughs> like the, uh, and he was like, oh, nice to meet you. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you. And then the girls were like. Oh, the crew, sorry. I did this. See, I still have to learn. So the crew said, uh, the crew said, oh my word, he seems so nice, he seems so friendly. I was like, yes, but then he had to go, and I had to go, and that was, uh, that was it. Well, I have a question from EurovisionBulgaria.com. What's your secret to always stay so positive and happy? I am not always positive and happy. That's the secret. Like, to say that you're always positive and happy would be utopian, you know, and be lying. Because, no, but actually, two days ago, I had a breakdown. I cried. <laughs> because my contract is not signed yet. <laughs> not, not with, not with the NDR. <laughs> no, no worries. It's, it's something else, something else. And it's like, come on. You know how many noises I just got in my ear? Going, what contract? What contract? <laughs> no worries. No, it's just like, ah, uh, you know. Right now, I'm managing myself, and it's a lot to do at the same time. So, um, so that's why I like. Okay, what I can have, I can give you a, like a tip on how to stay positive most of the times, which I try to do. It's training. Like, it's seriously training. When you try to lift a 100 kilogram stone, the first time you will not do it. The second time you will not do it. But if you do it every day and you try to do it, it's always not working. One day, you will make it. And that's the same with thinking positive. If you try to think positive every, or try to, in negative moments or in bad moments, if you try to say, I will try to, have a positive thought now, and the first time it won't work because you're like, no, the bad, the bad ones overwhelm me too much, that's too much. But trying it every day again, and trying to see something positive from everything negative that's going on, and trying it every day, you will get better at it. You will train it, and you, eventually you will become a pro in it. I'm not a pro, I'm still in training, but it's something you can work to. I think that's an excellent end for a wonderful song and a wonderful message that you are bringing to Eurovision this year. Thank you so much. So there is time now for pictures and as well as small interviews. If you'd like to please go to the photo wall, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your Eurovision. I'll see you Thank you so much for watching us all, and now the next country in a little bit is the Netherlands. Bye!